my name is Cameron. I'm one of the co-founders and CMO of DeFi. DeFi is the best framework to launch deep in applications. And we'll start off by talking about uh, sort of the first three products that we launched and then go into the, the, pro the products that we're working on right now. So to get started here, DeFi's mission is to make developing deep in applications as easy and seamless as possible. We want to make it as streamlined as possible for builders to launch more deep in projects. And to get started here, uh, we had dozens and dozens of interviews and phone calls with builders, founders, investors in the space to really understand the core problems that builders were facing. This came down to twofold. The hardware is very expensive to make, and it's also very difficult connecting that hardware on chain. In fact, uh, the manufacturing costs for deep-end hardware could be five times higher than traditional Web2 devices. And the developmental time frame to get that prototype up and running and connected to the blockchain can take over six months. On an ongoing basis, having all that data message between uh, on-chain can be a thousand times more expensive compared to traditional Web2 services. So this really led to the first core product that DeFi offered is open source hardware solutions and, man and manufacturing capabilities in China to develop those devices at about the same cost as traditional IoT devices in the market today. We can bring that developmental time frame for the prototype from six months down to uh, three days, and we can also cut down 99% of that network usage fee. And this is really where our second product comes in, uh, the DeFi messaging layer. This can be thought of as the middleware that connects DeepIn devices to the blockchain. DeFi is able to connect any DeepIn data source to any blockchain using infrastructure like rollups and oracles. And the messaging layer is a decentralized and comprehensive off-chain DeepIn message network. This is really important because when you think of the future where there's thousands, tens of thousands of devices on your network, you can't possibly have all of those data sources being transferred on chain. So a lot of this will happen off chain. And we're also able to ensure end to end trust chain transfer uh, from within the devices and the chips themselves to the blockchain. Next up, DeFi uh, introduced DeFi DIDs. These are unique identifiers that have a one to one relationship with every single individual device on your network. So every specific device will have its own unique DID. This provides for traceability and authentication uh, for your DeepIn device behaviors. It allows you to ensure that there's no bad actors on your network and allows you to stop spoofing. What uh, sets the DeFi DID apart from some of the other DIDs in the market right now is the, verif the verifiable aspect of it as well. So let's say, for example, uh, you know, you're a GPU, a decentralized GPU compute project. Um, you want to ensure that not only uh, are these uh, devices on your network and they're good actors, but you also want to ensure, for example, that that chip is actually an H1000 chip. So the DIDs uh, that DeFi offers not only ensures for the traceability for all devices on the network, it also allows us to authenticate uh, those traits as well. So we currently have about 3,000 DIDs live on Solana mainnet. Uh, this is through our two projects, uh, partners, Star Power and Apis Network. Star Power is a decentralized virtual power plant that has about 1,500 DIDs live. Uh, we also help them build out a few thousand of their hardware devices as well. And Apis Network is a decentralized GPU compute with about 1,400 um, DIDs on the network. So how do we actually launch your prototype in three days? Uh, on day one, we can build device prototypes using online software like Arduino. On day two, we can connect those prototypes uh, to the messaging layer, to the DeFi messaging layer. And finally, on day three, we can deploy these DIDs and start modifying the tokenomics model and conducting testing. So these were really the first uh, three core products that DeFi offered, and it was aimed at uh, DeepIn builders who are just starting to get off the ground. But as we continue to discuss uh, with DeepIn builders and figure out you know, what are these core problems they're facing, we're excited to talk about two new products that DeFi is offering. So the DeFi liquidity layer aims to solve probably the biggest problem in DeepIn today, which is a lack of liquidity for the DeepIn sector. We believe that by tokenizing DeepIn assets, we can enable them to gain further liquidity. So the idea here is that DeFi provides the infrastructure to take these DIDs and the hardware that they sit on, we can incentivize uh, operators to package this together with stake tokens. We could then introduce a real-time price feed using oracles. And now we have a tokenized asset-backed security made up of some tokens, the DID, and the hardware itself. And the idea here is that currently, there's really only two ways to get involved in DeepIn. You're either buying the tokens or you're buying the miner. So this now introduces a third option. Whereas if you're, the, if you're the operator of these DeepIn devices, currently, you can only gain liquidity by selling the tokens that you're mining. 
But instead, what if you can actually package these future revenue streams together and sell them to a consumer through a partner of ours like Ping Pong, uh, and then that consumer now has the ability to actually participate in the Deepin ecosystem, but they don't have to physically run those devices themselves. So it's a pro to the operator as it's allowing him to gain fresh liquidity that he can then go out and buy, for example, new miners. And it's also a pro to the consumer because now you have additional ways to get involved in the ecosystem without simply buying the miner yourself. The next layer here is really creating uh, CDOs with these aspect securities, packaging this together with some outside assets like maybe Bitcoin or Ethereum or Binance. This allows us to lower the risk profile of these CDOs. And importantly here, we'll have a dynamic collateralization ratio that ensures that uh, these collateralization ratios move with the market if there's a big spike or a big decrease in price. The idea here is to really uh, find synergies between DPIN and DeFi and introduce more ways uh, that people can invest in DPIN outside of just the miners uh, and the tokens themselves. The final product we'll talk about today is proof of location. Proof of location is very important for a number of scenarios. Uh, namely, POL solves and allows builders the ability to accurately assess uh, key metrics on the network on an ongoing basis and ensure its performance. Uh, it also allows builders to optimize for resource allocation, as well as ensure fair distribution of the physical pro uh, products on their network. And finally, and probably most importantly, it allows for DPIN uh, to achieve regulatory compliance in an increasingly scrutinized landscape by knowing where exactly are all the devices on their network housed. So we provide two types of location proofs. Uh, there's a real world location proof, and it's using physical geographical coordinates. And there's also a network location that's using digital positioning within the internet infrastructure. And we use a confidence scoring system that combines multiple different information sources to come up with this proof of location. And we'll end today by briefly talking about the team. Uh, our CEO and our CTO have been together for many years now. Namely, they founded the Fala Network together. This was one of the top Polkadot projects launched, and it was listed on Binance. There's 50,000 miners on the network, and June was the CTO and youngest architecture engineer at DJI. And he's also one of the best Rust developers in Asia. Croth, our COO, founded the first DEX aggregator on Solana that did over $3 billion in volume. And my name is Cameron. I'm one of the co-founders and CMOs. Uh, I started my career in traditional finance and most recently worked in private equity fundraising. Thank you. Please. Yeah, absolutely. We can, we can work with sort of uh, both, whether you have your own DIDs or whether you will use DFI's DIDs. But namely, and super important for the liquidity layer, uh, that can only be compatible with the DFI DIDs.